Hi, my lovelies. It's been a minute. It's been a while. Like, I miss you guys. Anyway, I am back. And I want to use this opportunity to say Happy New Year to all of my subscribers, guys. Happy, Happy New Year. So this is my updated brow routine and I think I missed out some clips I didn't realize that but the very first thing I did was to lay down the eyebrows with edge control I then dusted it off with powder that's mattified it with powder and then I went ahead to start um, the brows as you can see I outlined the under I outlined the under first and then went ahead to make strokes as you can see in the video i took my time to make strokes because we are looking at achieving a very very natural looking brows i always emphasize emphasize on making strokes on all my <laughs> brows um this is actually a little bit different from what i was doing early last year or from what i posted here early last year this is my updated brow routine so after making the strokes i went ahead to make the upper line of the brows the upper part of the brows i achieved this using a gel liner a brown gel liner from million pollen yes that is what i used for outlining and then i used um an eye pencil for making strokes this eye pencil i don't know the name is milani but i'm guessing it's not the original milani anyways but it's just milani on the body yeah the pencil is very very dark and precise if you are the type of person that likes darker eyebrows this pencil is definitely for you sometimes i don't like using it because it comes out too strong like the color comes out too strong for me but i used it for her brows anyways um i'm just basically filling in and filling in trying to get the places that are looking scanty you know to make everything look even i went over to the second brows i also repeated the same process take your time to make strokes make sure you're making the stroke look like your natural hairline you know how hairlines are now they, do, they don't just go straight look at how short and precise i made them look then I walked my way through the other parts of the brows, making the same strokes as well. Of course, as you can see, I did not miss my arco. <laughs> this brow routine is probably not for people that are um, just learning shower because I didn't take my time to show you the beginning of the brows, the arc and all that. But that doesn't mean that they are not there. They are all there. The arc is there, the beginning of the brows and the tip of the brows. They are all there. So the beginning of the brows is supposed to come from the bridge of the nose, the side of the bridge of the nose. The tip comes um, to the outer part of the eyes and then the arc also, you take it, you measure it vertically from the side of the nose as well. So that's just basically, but if you're confused, you can watch my video from last year. It has all those measurements. It has all this brow measurements that can easily help you so what i'm doing now basically is just still filling it up to make sure that everything is evenly shaded and there is no part that will be looking scanty yeah so this is actually my first official video for the year guys thank you for being here if this is your first time um seeing my video you're welcome if you're an old subscriber i love you for always watching my video if you are new here remember to subscribe remember to like and turn on notification buttons for much more amazing videos like this so i went ahead to conceal these days i hardly conceal my brows or but i had to do this one for the sake of this video once your brows is well outlined and all that sometimes i don't really feel the need to conceal well i use my concealer our our cosmetic concealer and a flat angled brush from the girl's corner yes then i blended out with my favorite blending eyebrow brush if you are my subscriber you know this brush already <laughs> 
anyways so that's just it after blending i think i went ahead to use powder on it yes but that is at the end of the video though so i'm just basically making sure i'm cleaning out the edges because i want to have that very sharp line you know how i do it yeah in between the brows i was still looking at it to know where i need to make corrections and all that i was trying to make the line thicker here and then i extended it out so because that place was looking empty as you can see i've corrected it now i went ahead to conceal the other part of the eyes as well basically the same thing i did for the other one so i'm just going to allow you guys to watch and enjoy the process yeah So when i was concealing i cleaned out the tip of my brows i had to come back and put it back i'm just taking my time to show all these mistakes so you know that you can actually make mistakes when you're doing your brows you don't have to get everything perfect um at the beginning so as you're making your brows just be watching out for the imperfection or where you think that needs correction and be correcting them in between more is is necessary like nobody's above mistake as you can see i'm still outlining like i'm still outlining yes so i say let me tell you before you'll be thinking that i'm all perfect <laughs> anyways so i don't normally clean the upper part of my brows but i had to for this particular video because i noticed i kind of um did a little bit of mistake here and there i needed it to stand out on its own and i had to clean out where i felt needed the cleaning and i think i cleaned only this one i can't remember cleaning the other brows but if i did it's still okay well if you outline very well there might not be need to clean the upper part of the brows and when you are doing this upper part of the brows please endeavor to use the foundation shade of the person don't use concealer you are going to use concealer use the concealer that is the person's exact shade but if you really 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 must do this use the foundation shade of the person am i clear do you understand do you grab <laughs> i was still making corrections ah ah this girl over sabi one key yeah i just wanted the perfect brows that was just it <laughs> after which i went in with my powder of course wherever i use concealer on i always make sure i set it with a lighter shade of powder this will also help your brows to pop more the brow bone you need that brow bone standing out so always set with powder i always do i don't miss it yes so this is the end of these brows like this so this brow tutorial like this so thank you for coming to today's class thank you for coming to my video to <laughs> thank you for watching my video today like i appreciate you for being here once again thank you you're welcome if this is your first time eh so this is what the brows look like at the end of the day so remember guys no two brows are the same they are not twins but they can only be sisters whatever you're doing make sure that you they are at least looking like each other you get yeah thank you bye